back out finally, we can say we deserve the win and we got the win. Um, nice moment for you. I think it's a nice moment for everyone. Um, I think that's first, like first and foremost, to get three points on the board on a Saturday afternoon. There's nothing better in football, and um, you know we're all here for that. And um, I, w I wouldn't be wrong in saying that we deserve the three points today. We've said it before and, and, and not come out with the three points, but today, you know, we're, it's going to be a happy, happy coach home, and we can look forward. You know, without that monkey on our back, we can we can get back to doing our business and, and trying to maintain our standards, um, play the way we play. Because as, as we've seen today, when we play how we play, we cause teams huge problems, huge, huge problems. And also I think that, um, maybe going out on a limb here, but we entertain as well. Some of the football was absolutely magical in that first half. And to see the opposition uh, trying to solve it on, in, in real time was, was great to see because it, we, we were so flexible. It, it wasn't a case of just being able to solve one thing. We were, we were dynamic and I'm really pr proud of the lads. It was a fantastic effort physical effort, mental effort in that first half and, and it just goes to show when, when we get things right and take our chances we're in a great position so yeah really pleased to get three points today. The two boys you brought in for Max and Mitch and, and Tom I think match winners today with Mitch's run into the box with the penalty and Tom's from the free kick they've been a revelation for us this season haven't they? they yeah they, the, the fantastic thing about what Mitch and, and, and Dino have got along with the little bits of quality the technical quality they have got and the, and the tactical understanding about how I'd like the lads to play and how we're implementing into the group. They've also got spade loads of effort, physicality, fitness. I mean, the amount of grass that Mitch covered as a centre forward today was was crazy. And Dino's endeavour getting forward up and down, and then his, his work rate to, to defend. But to a man in the first half, the, the, the intensity, the tempo of our play was uncontainable. Absolutely, and, and you can see that through, through the way. But you know, for, for me. We should be further ahead at half time. Such was the domination. We should have been, you know, three, four, four up at half time, and it kind of gives us a little bit more of a, a comfortable second half to a certain extent. But fair play to the opposition today. Going in at half time, what was said in there, well, obviously a, a few things to to come out in a completely different outfit, and you know, I doff my hat to them. You know, they they really kind of put us under a lot of pressure, made things difficult stifled some of our play but it just goes to show you in those tough moments when we keep the ball and take the sting out of the game we've still got the ability to do that amongst all the carnage so we have to learn from that because that second half shouldn't be as tricky as it was and so nail biting um, and especially when they go down to 10 men we should be able to take the sting out of the game a little bit more and exploit those areas but um, fair play to the back line dealing with direct play and making first contacts and you know, even though we weren't tracking on them particularly well, drop second balls are really key for us and, and making our, our appearances. And it's a learning experience. Harry hasn't played a great deal of, of, of games this season. You know, he's, he's now played a couple of games, three on three on a bounce, and, and he's starting to settle. And, and, and I know that with a few more games under his belt, those decisions will become natural and, and, and key. And, and he's, he'd be fantastic with, with the way he bounced back from that. It's very easy for a player to make a, a mistake that ends in a goal and, and go into their shell. And, he, he's not that type of character. He's, he, he knows being a goalkeeper sometimes things can, can go wrong and, and end up in a goal. But the way that he bounced back from that and, and showed his quality with the ball and his physicality dealing with balls into the box, I felt that was, was, was testable as well. But to a man, every single one of these players, 16 players today, 16 used, 16 dug in and got us over the line today. So fair play to every single one of them today. Uh, for you and Pete, sir, uh, there was obviously, you said to me after the interview, hate losing on Tuesday night against Totten. Uh, we've got the win. There's been a few negative comments here and there and um, not as many supporters travelling on the coach today, but is it a case of just look, stick with us? Well, for me, everyone involved in football's got an opinion and that's why they love the game. You know, if they didn't have an opinion, I don't think they'd enjoy watching football in, in the way they do and learning about the game. And I think that most people that have come and seen us this year have seen a real transformation in the team, transformation in the mindset. Um, and hopefully a transformation for the, for the positive. Yes, it's been tricky getting results and being sustainable across 90 minutes. But, you know, I think today goes to show that even after Tuesday's second half performance, we can improve again. And that's the encouraging thing about this group. I don't know how good they can be. Because week on week they improve, they learn, and they go and, and get a little bit better. And, and that's, that's the great thing about the group. We've, we've strengthened, we've got players in, and they've and they put the ground running. I think Jack Endicott again today was, was outstanding. You know, he's, he's on the front foot in terms of trying to intercept and then he's got a little bit of quality and, and him and Dylan worked really well in the first half. Um, 
And then Kieran obviously just coming in and, and, and taking on the mantle of, of Mitch, making challenges and, and putting pressure on Hartley pitch. To a man, every man that came on the pitch gave effort. And um, yeah, it's great to see us picking up three points and we can enjoy our weekend. Um, without getting too overexcited because yeah. we've got to dust ourselves down. Big game Tuesday. Big massive game Tuesday, absolutely massive game Tuesday. But hopefully if we can continue to build on our performances, learn from them, so we can learn from that second half performance 100%. Also, we should be able to take a lot of heart and a lot of confidence from the first half performance into Tuesday. Maka for you and your lucky cap. Thank you, mate. <laughs> Let's hope it is, yeah. yeah. That'll stay. Cheers, Cheers. Cheers. bye-bye.